True, you never look presentable, mate. Tell me when it's filming. It is filming. All right. <laughs> Come here. Can't see because the sun. So it's part two of the Century and a half, and the first job is to change the batteries and put some. I always say new because I'm not going to put new batteries on because I'm cheap. But put some better batteries on. So the, the original batteries are in here. So I've just took the four bolts off this cover. So God knows what we're about to find. Oh wow! Look at that. Four six volt batteries. <laughs> Let me know if that's what they're supposed to be. I wouldn't have thought so, but there you go. Well, that's what it's got. I can't believe this started with this, this actually is a really good depth perspective of how much of a pain this is to get in. Yeah. Look at this. So basically, these batteries are the same sort of batteries that you have on a Willis Jeep. That's crazy. I'd say that they were, that was genuine fitment. Because look, there's proper metal cases. I was going to say, it all looks proper. Yeah. That's pretty cool, isn't it? I never knew that. So, four or six volt batteries. Well, if it is period, there's plenty of uh, repo six volt batteries to buy. Could you imagine trying to start this with crap six volt batteries? <laughs> you don't want to start with thousand crown cow batteries, let alone <laughs> lousy six volt junk. Right, let's get these out. <sighs> yeah, I'm not lifting them. Well, they're better than lifting a NATO, though. <laughs> I'm just going to make it's sure connected. we don't get too much hand cancer from them, you know. Uh, we're going to need some spanners. What do you want? Um, do you want to go and get the little the little um, foam set of Whitworth again? Yep. And we'll uh, do some of these. <sighs> That's like them heavy buggers out. Nice and crusty. I'm going to hoover all that out down there, sling some batteries in, and see what comes to life. Right, I've got some uh, second-hand mint batteries and bugger carry on them, though. Thanks so much. Everyone keeps asking about Whistling Diesel's tank, where it's going. It's going this month at some point. I don't know. It's up to the shipping company. It's supposed to go last month. It didn't. Hopefully this one. I can do with it at the blooming way. We've got vehicles backing them everywhere. We've got more vehicles on the way this this month as well. Let's see if I can boom these batteries up. They're incredibly heavy. These uh, what we call grey NATO batteries. They're also very powerful, brilliant batteries used on all the all the uh, British military vehicles. Good things, but they are man killers. Right, replacement batteries fitted. They should be okay, I've had them on the charger overnight. So far, connected everything up, nothing's happened. The isolator is currently off. I'm a bit worried when I turn it on if anything's gonna do anything. But let's see what happens. Ooh, ooh. That sounded like the main engine turning. That is the main engine turning. Hmm. Hmm. We better go and have a look in the cockpit and see what's happening. Right, we're in the driver's cockpit and I think I found the problem. The start button has been pushed and it's actually got stuck back. And the, and the vehicle isolator was on so obviously when I connected the rear isolator because that was pressed and that was on even though the ignition was off all that does is stop the engine from starting that's like the mag magnetos so it was thinking that someone was pressing the button hence why the starter motor was going to turn the engine over so that is actually good amazingly uh, so I'll give it some WD-40 and we'll get the hammer just see if we can back out gently it looks like the buttons come back up yeah it's definitely a bit stuck so I think a bit more W40 and work that forward and back and I think the next thing I need to do is go to my spares and put some fuses in there hopefully I can find a cover fit that and then we'll try again 
Right, I've been to the stores. I've got some fuses. I'm going to put them in. Obviously, you can see they're, they're brand new, they're not second hand, clearly. I'll put a lemon. I've also got a nice new cover for it, brand new. Right, fuses are in. I've WD 40 everything. Stop button's now working. I've turned everything off. I'm going to turn the main isolator back on at the back and hopefully it will crank on the button and not just all the time. So far, not so good. Let's see what happens here. Oh my god. <laughs> Feel good, does something. Oh, even that light comes on. This is for the this is for the B80 engine that works a winch. We'll see if it cranks. That's a no. No crank there. Well, the ignition works, just doesn't crank. Let's see what happens in the main area now. Okay. I made some weird noises. Something just burnt out in there. Fuse, fuse E. Fuse E is hull auxiliaries. Okay. <laughs> Got power though. Smoking a lot. Let's see what happens without that in. Okay, so it is showing some fuel. Um, what else moves when I turn the isolator on and off? So, fuel left, LF, right hand, fuel left, right, I don't know. I don't know what that really means. Ignition. Let's try the start. Well, let's see if the bilge pump works. Lol, that was. Oh, <laughs> that works. Oh. I wonder if any of the side lights work. Side lights, tail lights, headlight right hand, headlight left hand. Let's go and have a look. I don't know if you can see it, but the blooming lights work. <laughs> what a bit of kit. I wonder if this one works. Oh, look at that. It's ready to go down the road. I wonder if any work at the back. Let's go out and have a look. Ooh. Oh, lovely. Grab a drink. That's funny. Can't believe they work. Page light isn't working. Hmm. That's not gonna work, is it? I mean, there's the cable, there's no bulb in it. Uh, nothing at that side. Oh. Actually, that's for the smoke discharge, that cable. <clears throat> yeah, some buggers stole the bulbs out of it. No wonder they don't work. So I've got some new bulbs. 
And look at that. Brand new, all working. It's, uh, it ain't bad. Engine gear box. I heard a spark. Did you? Yeah, or something went click. Did it? Yeah. Right, we've took the distributor off the B80, uh, the distributor cap, shall we say. I'm going to take the, it's hard to do with one hand and film. <laughs> take the road trial out, it looks like brand new in there. Um, so I'll give that to Richard, he'll clean that up in a minute. And obviously this engine has done zero, apparently. When was it overhauled? It was overhauled in, I can't see quite, 90, 89, 1989. Right, so with that off, you can see that the points in that far corner there have just stuck together. So I'm gonna get a pen knife and scrape them clean. Then we'll crank again, see if they spark. And then we'll put it all back together and see if it fires. Right, I've given the points a little clean with a pen knife. Uh, Richard, if you just turn the isolator on. Okay. And give it a little play here, you see that spark? Sparking quite nicely, so we've got power at the points. So, now we'll just see if it sparks when you crank it. So, uh, when you're ready, just crank. One set sparking nicely, the other set's not doing a lot, so we'll just work on that second set. Just do, go on then, isolator on, and give it a crank. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Filming. Oh, isolator, ignition. Give it some prop or not? Jump lead, the Arv. We'll give it 20 minutes. We'll try again. What do you think, Ted? What do you think? Here we go, got it out. Bit dirty. I think um, if oh, I yeah. patch you some up with the brake clean, yep. and give them a little clean and a wire wheel. Wire wire brush now. It's down there on the floor. Oh yeah. You give them a little clean, and we'll try again. Some water came out. Right, oh, okay. Are you ready? Yep. You filming? Yep. Check maybe? Yeah. A tad more, I would say. There you go, try that, yeah. Go on. Yes, come on. Cheese it go, huh? It's probably why they run it rich.
works. I don't believe it. V12 working now. No, that's just the ignition indicator. Oil pressure's this orange one. Need some revs. Oh, what a babe. <laughs> oh, yes, <yeah>, she's going. <laughs> oh, quite <is> that. <laughs> Well, that was a raving success. Uh, thank you all for watching and stay tuned for the next video where we try and start the main engine.